Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well, coming up in this episode, it was another early start this morning, back to the same woods where I was last week. Uh, I'd noticed on Wednesday, I went to do a quick check on the box there and it was empty of nuts. So I obviously didn't get all the squirrels last week. Uh, today I was out with my FX Maverick and I have got another Sightmark Wraith 4K that uh, I got on Wednesday this week. So. Uh, that's all set up zeroing wise there's still some settings on the scope itself I need to do but uh, I should get that sorted this week anyway I hope you enjoy the film and I'll see you later on and I'm putting another warning on there this is a hunting video things will get shot if you don't like watching that please turn off now thank you it's Wednesday the 6th of October now. Uh, I last came here on Friday the 1st of October and this nut box was full. Uh, I've just come back now uh, and it's empty. So the five squirrels that I shot last Friday are only a tip of the iceberg. So I should be back here in a couple of days time again to see if there's a few more to mop up. Hello and welcome back to the hide that I was in last Friday. Today is the 8th of October and I've got set up here about quarter past six so it's just it's just starting to, to get a little bit light now so I'm all set up ready to go and uh, see if uh, our early arrivals come like they did last week. So hopefully I'll see you later on in the film. So by the time I'd spotted this chap with the thermal and turned the scope on, he was already there tucking into his breakfast, so uh, you miss a lot of the running up the tree, but uh, once I've got that all set up and rechecked the focus, obviously because I was there during the dark, so I'll just tweak the focus a little bit, make sure that's okay, and then let him have it. Ooh. Off you go. So my little um, GoPro type camera is obviously down looking up towards the southeast so it is sort of getting a light um, for what, what brightness there is so it does give you a bit of a, um, a, a shadowy image but you can see what's going on there. I'd like to let them have a, a, a bit of food. It also gives you an idea if there's any any more squirrels around because they tend to rush and uh, they don't hang around on the box for long. So he's quite relaxed here. Well, for the moment, anyway. So that was about quarter to eight this morning. This chat was about five minutes afterwards. Again, obviously I'd spotted him on the thermal. By the time I got set up, he was already in there. There's one that can't read the sign. He was on his second course of nuts by now. And thoroughly enjoying them. Well, until then. So two down within about sort of 10 minutes. I did notice that today that they tend to rush really quickly to the box and get straight on the food whereas last week they dithered around for ages but um, it, it was completely different this week as to how they were getting onto these food but they do sit very nicely on that little platform I've made go on have another one that do you good no wonder the box was getting empty. So again this one, he came from the tree over to the left and approached this feeder tree on the ground. He has a quick check to make sure his mates are alright. He's got two friends down on the floor. A 
have another check, see if they're still there. Have a quick look, make sure they're still yep, there. Yep, they're still there. Read the sign. Have another check. Yep, they're still there. Read the sign. Can't believe it's free food. Make the most of this. Can I get it down? Oh, he banged his head. Ooh. Oops. Off you go. Go on. Go. So that three was in about 35 to 40 minutes. Um, and again, they, that was, they do tend to go straight for the feed, no sort of messing about this week, which was op opposite to what they were doing last week. I had no sounds at all from the squirrels. I couldn't hear anything in the woods, which was unusual. So, so they were just appearing. Um, with no sort of vo vocal warnings prior to getting on that feeder box. So this chap comes across right over from the right hand side there's a high branch which bends over and touches another tree that's the way he came uh, i think he'd been up there watching what was going on seeing all his mates sitting on that um, little platform and getting shot so he's come down with a better idea let's go have a quick check make sure it's all right I'm not sure if squirrels have pouches like hamsters, but whether he, he stuffs the load in his mouth and then uh, thinks, right, I'm going to go for a run now. So off he goes for a runner. So I've kept this film running, but I've shortened it by about three minutes. Now he's now high up on the right hand side where you won't be able to see him, but you'll hear him. There he goes. So obviously that's him coming down that I can see in the scope and then when he does the runner up uh, I lose sight of him so I have to then reposition the, one of the legs on the tripod to uh, let the rifle lower down uh, and I catch up with him on this, this right hand bow that bends over to the other tree. There he is. He's gone up there because he thinks it's safe but it wasn't. He's down there now. Hello and welcome back. Um, it's got a little bit quiet now. Um, I was thinking of a title for this film. It could have been American Muscle Cars because I did have three on the tree, but now there's four on the floor. So uh, if you're from the States, then you'll appreciate that 1970s muscle car uh, terminology. Anyway, back to the squirrels. I say there's four down. Uh, I'm going to leave it perhaps for another half an hour. Uh, see what else is around good news is there's no jays I've not even heard a jay today so they've, they've obviously um, either got the message or I've got rid of them so and I'll finish off here and uh, thank you again for, for watching and I'll see you on the next video take care well that wraps up um, my morning today thank you for watching please like and subscribe and share it with your mates uh, there's two other feeders out which I should be looking at uh, next week and I'll be out on the rats tonight Thanks again. I'll see you on the next film. Cheerio.